Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Breaking Bad reaction. We are about to watch episode 5 of season 1. Last episode we focused on family matters of our main characters. We saw Jesse's family, his parents, and we got some information about their past, how they try to deal with Jesse's addiction problems. But I guess in the end they had no choice but to cut him out of their family. And we saw uh, Walt giving the news about his cancer to his family. Uh, of course, we saw how his wife was really uh, broken by this news. She's pregnant. They have a disabled son. They are not doing well financially. So these people already had so much problems and now they learn Bolt has cancer, which is just a terrible thing to deal with, even without all the other problems. So I guess now we are going to see Bolt maybe trying to convince his family that he doesn't want to get a treatment because he doesn't have much hope and he doesn't want to go in depth before he possibly dies. Uh, I mean, we know if he accepts to get a treatment, he will have no choice but to cook crystal meth and he doesn't want to continue with that line of work. I think he's done at this moment, uh, but I don't think his family will be okay with it. Uh, of course, I mean, how can anyone be okay with letting their husband or father just refuse the treatment for cancer even if it's just a small chance of survival you have to try you have to get the treatment and I guess that's what we are going to focus on so let's jump into this episode and see what happens here is uh, here's my resume um, I mean technically it says uh, curriculum vitae is he trying to get a real job <laughs> because Bolt walked away I have a solid background in uh, in sales. <laughs> I'm pretty much a self-starter, so. Yeah, he does have a lot of experience. I'd be happy to consider you for a sales position, but all of our agents need to be licensed, have at least two years on the job experience, and usually a college degree. You need job experience to get a job. It's just the worst thing about looking for a job in this age. Man, this sucks. He's trying to get a real job. Yo, man! What up? Badger? Where <laughs> you been keeping yourself? It was his friend. Yo, why would you want to do this lame-ass job anyway? I mean, no, no offense. Because I'm on probation, yo. Gotta prove to the man I'm rehabilitated. I mean, it's better than nothing. You think you could maybe uh, hook me up with some crystal? And everywhere he goes, drugs just won't let him go. He can't leave this business. No, I mean, I, I had this uh, this partner who was helping me cook. I mean, I was doing most of the work, but <laughs> he was an asshole, so. And I guess he has no choice but to get a real job. I can hook you up with some pseudo. Major pseudo. I got channels, bro. We could partner up. Huh? Oh, don't tempt him. He just failed with the job. So now he's going to think about going back to cooking. <sighs> God, it is really difficult to find a job without college degree or work experience. So I understand his struggle. I guess he has no choice but to cook. It's a stupid gift. No, it isn't. He'll love it. I don't know what I was thinking. Didn't the invitation even say no gifts? Look, we need this. We've been through a lot lately, okay? Jesus. Oh. I guess we didn't get the beige memo. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> Why is everyone wearing the same color? Thank you. You're welcome. 
Whose party is this? Oh, look, there's Elliot. Oh, come on, let's go say hello. Like old friends? You made it. <laughs> Happy birthday. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Thank you, Skyler. See, this is the part of his life I actually like. He has a lot of people. Looks like that cares about him. Uh, is that the woman from the other episode in Walt's flashback? Securing that patent was just amazing. I mean, the, the work that your company is doing. Congratulations to both of you. I wonder what happened between Walt and that woman. Like, I guess things didn't work out and she ended up with his friend at some point. <laughs> Rich people. Uh, this is an impressive house. <coughs> His health is just keep getting worse. This is Walter White. Oh, uh, back at Caltech. He was you were just the master of crystallography. Wow. I remember this one time. We Walt also has some, I guess, impressive past in science. I mean, he had that award, like, contribution to Nobel Prize. This is the white in gray matter. Back when Elliot and I were in grad school, we came up with a name. <clears throat> Schwartz, Black, oh. Walter White. So together they became gray matter technologies. Thank you, Doc. They found the company together. He walked away from the company. It's a Stratocaster. <laughs> not, not, not just any Strat. That's one of Clapton's. No way. God. We are learning more about Walt in his past. Like he could be like these people, but why did he walk away? Why is Beautiful. he doing this? What is he, like eight years old? Oh. Here, honey. <laughs> no gifts. Uh... Oh, this is from Walt. Yum good ramen. Does it mean something about their past? This is what Walt and I <laughs> lived on for uh, 10 months straight while we were working on our thesis. Oh god. <laughs> to this day, I am convinced these noodles were responsible for our success. And this is a really good gift. Thank you, Walt. Well, for the man who has everything. And that is actually such a nice gift. We used to call him Snot Trough because he had that thing under his nose. What, what do you call? What do you call? That was Dobkins. Nope. That was the same guy who always smelled like chocolate milk. And I love seeing Walt and his happy parts of the life. Uh, oh God, I miss this Walt. But you know what I mean is that that you and I should work together again. What? What are you gonna teach high school? <laughs> he is offering a job to Walt. Are you uh, asking me to come work for you at Grey Matter? Yeah, why not? You, you'd fit right in. You're brilliant. You, you, you got a ton of experience. God, this is like a dream for him. Getting out of that high school. You know what it's like when you, you, you've been trying to crack some problem for months on end? You get tunnel vision. One guy thinking outside of the box. You may be exactly what we need. Maybe he doesn't need to go back to cooking. I have some personal issues. No. Oh, his cancer. We can help you. We, we have excellent health insurance. How does he know that? Oh god, no she didn't. Did she ask him to offer a job to Walt? Told him about cancer? Walt, what the hell did you say to Elliot? What? You told him about the cancer, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, I mean, she had no right to do this. What exactly did he say to you? He offered me a job. What? Yes, kind of like some fig leaf, you know? Yeah, this is really going to hurt his ego. 
And when I turned that down, he flat out offered to pay for my treatment. You which is exactly what you expected him to do, didn't you? Walt. Didn't you? I think that's exactly what she was trying to do. Walt? What do you think I said? Why? Walt? I mean, I understand she's just looking out for her husband and their family. But this is really humiliating for Walt. Yeah, I mean, she almost made them look like beggars at this point. <laughs> I love the <this> scene. <laughs> You can feel the problem between Walt and Skyler. Oh, what's he going to do? He has to pay for that treatment, and his only option is going back to cooking. Shit. Oh, I guess this guy was serious. He did get what they needed. Are these bullet holes? No, man, those are for like, um, you know, uh, ventilation. Cool. <laughs> Not the best liar. Big ass beaker, huh? <laughs> uh, hey, wait, wait, no, that's, yeah, that's a, it's a boiling flask. <laughs> oh, he learned something. <laughs> Here's a, an Erlenmeyer flask. Um, you got... Wow, really know your shit. It's just basic chemistry, yo. <laughs> I love this. He is learning. Okay. Well, I guess he really knows a lot of people who can buy these without drawing attention. Jesus. What the hell are you bringing that for? Hunting. We might see Javelinas. Uh, not the smartest partner, but at least he found what they needed. Is he going to cook like Walt? Staying true to chemistry instead of like adding uh, other stuff he was doing. <laughs> this guy is an idiot. I mean, if he can do this alone. He won't need Walter anymore. Here. Uh, I need five each. Come on, two more. Here. Oh, what are they doing? Are you kidding? Who's younger than us? Whatever. Are they trying to buy like beer or something? We forgot our IDs and we were wondering if you could do us a favor and buy us a six pack. You know what you're asking is illegal. Um. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Oh, God. <laughs> they found on the police here. This is not how I wanted to spend my night off. Consider this your first and last warning. Yes, sir. You're lucky you got a good dad here. Oh, why did he didn't call his father? Not cool, man. Not cool. What? You never tried to buy beer when you are my age? I'll talk about you calling me and not your father. How do you think that make him feel? Yeah, I don't know why he did this. Listen, should do me a favor, all right? Don't tell him about the kid. Just a teenager trying to score some beer, you know? And they already have enough problems. When he finds out his dad's sick, he starts acting out, you know? First the pot, then this. The pot? <laughs> yeah, she said it. I wasn't talking about Walter Jr. I was, I was talking about Walt. God, stop telling this guy's secrets to everyone. Walt? Mm -hmm. First she told about his cancer. Now she's telling about pot. God, she just can't keep anything secret. Why would anyone in their right mind choose not to do treatment? Especially when it's completely paid for. What we really need to do is sit him down, all of us, and, and get everything out on the table. Talk it all through. I don't think it's a good idea. 
just bringing other people into this, trying to force him into getting the treatment. You are a genius, bro. This Kangenstein is unreal. He did it. It's cloudy. It's not supposed to be cloudy. Okay, that last time it was glass. I mean, of course, it's not going to be as pure as Volt's product, but it's still good. He can still make money. Ah! Are you out of your mind? I totally would have smoked that. What did you do? Customers, they're gonna demand a certain standard. What? What? What, what are you? <laughs> what standard they are going to demand? I mean, those people will buy whatever you give them. Oh god, <laughs> they are actually doing it. Please have a seat and join us. Yeah, this is just too much. Is it good this time? We can do better. Don't you fucking think about it! <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste any more, God. These idiots. Do you know how long I had to spend that stupid sign? Get off me, psycho! Hell <gasps> got the bitch! Oh shit! Ah, uh, Jesse, you really found a messed up person to work with. Open the door! Oh, well, you're just going to leave him in the middle of the desert? Oh, God. These idiots, man. They wasted all of that ingredients and their products. Wasted all that time. This decision you've made is not only not in your best interest, it's not in the best interest of our entire family. Uh, maybe it will be nice for him to hear this from the people he cares about. It's okay to lean on people now and again. You need this treatment. I don't think he will accept that help. I think he will go back to cooking instead of Getting the money from his old friend, like a charity. Let's just, let's face it, you know, you were dealt a shit hand. But, um, sometimes your luck can change. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I was, you know, I started with a shit hand and I ended up with a, you know, a full house. <laughs> and he's not best with the words, but this guy has a good heart and he really cares about Walt. I I'm pissed off. Because you're, be you're being, you're like, ready to give up. This is really difficult. It's difficult to watch. This here, all the stuff I've been through, and y you're scared of a little chemotherapy? God, <laughs> this scene is amazing. Walt's face. God, this guy is so good. I think you should do whatever you want to do. What? You told us to be honest about our feelings. Walt's the one with cancer. It's his decision. It's not up to any of us. Okay, I guess it comes down to that at the end. Walt needs to want this. I x-ray people in treatment every day. I see them every day. And you know what? Some of them are absolutely miserable. Marine. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> She's being honest, but this is not helping. Hey, you know, can I get the pillow back? Because I, I agree with Marie on this Thank one. You. Hank. What? Maybe Walt wants to die like a man, all right? I don't want oh, him God. to die at all. This is getting out of hand. And it's like, Ladies, what come on. you have to dare you? Can't somebody disagree with you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now it's his time to talk. Sometimes I feel like I never actually make any of my own choices i mean and i guess he agrees with uh, his sister-in-law all i have left is how i choose to approach this well then make the right choice Walt. Okay. you're not the only one it affects yeah i mean when you have family you can't really make your own choices these doctors Talking about surviving. 
But what good is it to just survive if I am too sick to work, to enjoy a meal, to make love? He's right with this one. I want to live in my own house. I want to sleep in my own bed. I don't want to choke down 30 or 40 pills every single day. Uh, I can actually agree with this. It's not because of money. He doesn't want to live his last months like this. You? Cleaning up after me? And me, what a... Some dead man, some artificially alive. And that's how you would remember me. That's the worst part. God, this whole scene, man. That is my thought process, Skyler. I'm sorry. I seriously misunderstood this guy in previous episodes. I didn't think like this. I guess it wasn't just about money. He had a much deeper thought process than I kind of feel like him. I mean, I agree with him. If this is what he wants. If it wasn't for the baby, he would be, be uh, more com comfortable with this decision. But I think having a daughter on the way may actually push him towards the treatment I'll do the treatment okay at least this is his choice now you know when they told he chose not to do it and his family agreed with him <sighs> and now it is truly his choice even though there are a lot of contributing factors, like his daughter. It's gonna be okay. This guy's acting is just incredible. That entire talking scene, his performance was just amazing. I can't believe how good that scene was. We can pay up front with a credit card. Huh. Elliot will send a check. I will take care of it. Is he accepting the help? You know, they are starting right away. Of course, you don't have any time to uh, stall. Like, he's already in a terrible shape. Where is he going? Is he going back to Jesse? He wants back in, so I guess he's not going to accept the help after all. <laughs> Elliot. Wolf, it's Gretchen. Oh, that woman. Wolf, um, Elliot told me about the cancer. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. And this is the last thing he wanted: more people learning about his cancer and everything. That money, as far as we're both concerned, that. That belongs to you. He really doesn't want to accept this help. He wants to earn the money himself. Gretchen, I really appreciate the offer. As it turns out, the insurance came through after all. So, um... Again, lies and lies, God. This guy making his life more difficult. Keep in touch, okay? Sure, sure. And thank you for calling. Now I'm more curious about the past between these two. This fun conversation was really uh, awkward, almost like uh, nervous. Back to business. Wanna cook? <laughs> he is desperate. God, Walt, and his pride, his ego. Alright guys, this was episode 5 of season 1 of Breaking Bad. This was an emotional episode. I loved how we were introduced to more characters from Walt's past, his old friends, his old colleagues. Looks like Walt was one of the founders of a company called Grey Matter. 
um, his best friend, I'm assuming Elliot uh, and Walt founded his company. Uh, but I guess Walt somehow walked away and the company, I guess, got really big after he left because Elliot and his wife Gretchen, they were rich. And that Gretchen was the woman from Walt's flashback in one of the previous episodes. Uh, I assume they were in some kind of relationship, but I guess they split up and Gretchen ended up with Walt's best friend, maybe. There was really that weird uh, tension between Gretchen and Walt, like when they were talking on the phone, uh, it was really weird. Uh, but it was really nice to see this part of Walt's past and how his life turned out so different compared to what could have happened. And once again, his pride, his ego. Uh, stopped Walt from accepting help from his old friend. I mean, I don't really know what happened between Gretchen, Elliot and Walt, but I don't think there is anything wrong with accepting financial help from such an old friend considering they are really rich and they are so willing to help you. But Walt didn't think that way, he refused to help and he is going to pay for his own treatment by cooking meth. Uh, that entire scene with Walt and his family, like them trying to convince Walt to get this treatment, that was so emotional and acting was just incredible. Not just Walt, but everyone involved in that scene was just perfect. Uh, I mean, I understood Walt's feelings a little bit better, before this episode, I thought his only concern was money and he didn't want to go back to cooking meth. But I guess he was considering much more possibilities about this treatment. For example, he didn't want to spend his remaining time as a sick man. Uh, like he said, worst part about it would be his family was going to remember him as a sick dying man instead of this vault as the his normal version and after hearing his thought process his perspective i actually understood him better but after spending a night uh, he agreed to get the treatment He's going to do it, but he's going to pay for it himself. He went back to Jesse and they're going to cook again. And this guy is just going to, I guess, keep putting himself in more trouble, more danger as he deals with this cancer. Uh, but we are going to see it in the next episodes. So thank you for watching this one and I'll see you in the next. Bye.